What's up, guys? Spider Bites here with you today for Clash of Clans. We got another little uh, tidbit of information on the sneak peek. The Valkyrie, apparently, the Valkyrie is going to be getting a new ability. So she's not getting buffed. Uh, I know a lot of people complain about her and uh, how she's not very effective. And I've got complaints about saying, S Spider, 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 don't upgrade her, don't upgrade her. And you know what? This is exactly why I don't listen to random people on the internet. Now, I know you have, you know, you people that have told me don't upgrade the Valkyrie because she's crap, she's garbage, she's not very useful. Um, you know, you have a valid point. But my argument before any of this today, any of the sneak peek, uh, my argument was, well, I mean, anytime in the future, they could adjust her. They could make her do more damage. They could, you know, in some way uh, make her more powerful. And lo and behold... They're adding a new ability that is going to make her more powerful. So thank you. I am so glad that I didn't listen and that I did upgrade her to level 2. Okay, that I didn't skip upgrading her. I used my Dark Elixir, 50,000 I believe it was, to upgrade her to level 2 here in Town Hall level 8. All right? So we're just going to take a quick look. Obviously, the update is not out. So I'm going to go and attack, and I'm just going to go and attack with a single Valkyrie here on Payback. Okay? And we'll take a look at what she does. Well, and, and this is obviously very uh very limited what we can do here so we're gonna bring her in and uh we won't get a, actually a good example of what she does so she does her swing attack but she also does splash damage so anything within a certain radius of her swing is going to take damage and we'll, we'll pick a, a better base to attack here a better goblin base to attack here that has a few more buildings and we may perhaps we can see some of that splash damage so let's just end the battle don't worry i have i have some extra valkyries queued up and we're going to do an all valkyrie attack uh, once we're we're finished up here with the uh, with the goblin bases, so we got to find what about goblin outpost? Let's see if we can get a few more buildings in here. Um, okay, so that's not too bad. At least we can see her. You know, if we send the Valkyrie in at the back, um, we'll see what she can do with the splash damage. But even then, uh, her splash damage. Actually, we can probably pop her in right here. If we pop her in right here, we're going to be able to see the splash damage, right? So watch this. So she actually is doing damage to the to the goblin town hall right there. Okay. Now, if I had gone in the battle, return home, and let's do that one again, okay? So let's attack that, that one again. And this time, we're going to go in from the wall, all right? So I'm going to send her in back here. So she's... Actually, she doesn't even go through the wall. Darn it. And I sent in two of them. <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, so see how she went directly for the town hall, though, right? But you have this other building that's sort of top left to her. What they're doing to the Valkyrie is adding the ability to the Valkyrie where she's not just going to go to that building. She will actually go in between buildings before she attacks, okay? So um, her splash damage becomes that much more effective. And it's going to be even more effective when you're looking at it uh, at a base uh, and attacking the exterior walls or exterior buildings of a base. For example, if somebody was attacking my base with a Valkyrie and went after the Spell Factory... The Valkyrie would stand on the outskirts, right? On this side, somewhere over here to the Spell Factory. Well, with the new ability of the Valkyrie, the Valkyrie will now stand directly in between all three buildings. So she'll take the extra time to come from this side. Sorry, I'm trying to... She'll now take the extra time to come from the outskirts of my Spell Factory to go in between all three of these buildings and take them all out at the same time okay so her splash damage is actually utilized much more effectively and that's that's pretty big that's pretty big i mean i don't mind the valkyries i think they're they're actually pretty decent uh, but now that they they will actually go in and instead of hitting the outskirts of, of a building uh, I mean, the walls you can't really do much with. I mean, she's still going to attack the walls where she can. But once she gets inside your base and is attacking buildings, she's going to go to where she can do the most damage to multiple buildings at the same time. And that's that's a huge advantage. That's I think that's a pretty significant buff for the Valkyries and uh, one that will maybe entice people to use them in their army a little bit more often. Okay? So I, I think it's pretty interesting. I think it's going to be pretty good. And again, I am glad... Don't, don't listen just because well you know it's not very effective to upgrade the valkyrie because they suck no i'm gonna upgrade just in case supercell does do something like this and lo and behold a month or two later after after i actually it was probably a matter of a couple of weeks uh that i upgraded you know i just upgraded i just finished upgrading my valkyrie 
And uh, lo and behold, they're being buffed. Yay. Okay. So that's awesome. Uh, I'm just going to wait until they train up so I have a full army of Valkyries. And then we'll run a multiplayer attack here. And, uh, and then later on, after the update, we'll do a comparison video of an all Valkyrie attack with the new ability added. All right, here we go. We have a full army. Remember the Val Valkyries, Valkyries, whatever. Uh, they take up eight spaces in your uh, in your army camp, so we can only have twenty five. We have twenty five level two Valkyries, and I haven't actually done uh, performed an attack with the level twos. I know I did uh, level ones, but uh, level twos. I think these guys are going to own uh, again. Just doing this for fun. I'm just going to spam them because I can, and uh, let's do it. Let's see what happens. See how well they do. Now they do have some. Uh, I mean, they're going to be great, obviously, as they are versus clan castle troops because of the splash damage. I mean, they took them out very, very nicely there, and uh, they are going through all the buildings on the exterior of the base here. And as soon as those are done, they'll be going through to the center, hopefully. The guys at the, the top, and they get in pretty quick. I mean, especially when they're in a big group, they can get in there pretty quick. Again, sticking to the exterior of the buildings, they're not moving in between them like we're going to expect to see them do once the next update is out. But, I mean, I, I think they're not bad. I think they're not bad. I mean, are people going to start calling them OP uh, when, after the update? I don't know. But uh, And obviously, we're, we're attacking a very lower level base here, um, so it's hard to, uh, to judge that. But basically, what I wanted to do was just have a battle. Let's just do all Val Valkyries or Valkyries before the update, and then once the update comes out, we'll run it again and just see how it looks and how different it looks, especially running it against the Goblin base where we can go in and we can specifically see them. You know, instead of going to the exterior of the building, they're going in between, and they're doing a lot more damage and taking out a lot more buildings simultaneously. So I'm looking forward to the update. Again, once again, very, very glad that I did do the upgrade on the Val Valkyries, and uh, I will do so once more. Uh, in Town Hall Level 9. I think, uh, do they go up to 3 or 4 on Town Hall Level 9? Whatever, we'll see soon because I've got 3 days and 2 hours left to Town Hall Level 9. Sweet. We'll see you next time, guys. Spider out.